don't make no bones about that I, I've got a, a real love and affection for the club. Uh, spent 17 years playing football here and uh, they did a lot for me so it's good to be back to maybe try and give something back. They gave me 17 years to live my dream and play in premierships and, and earn money and, and uh, set up my family. So, um, uh, you know, everyone's got a, a small role to play um, and although being a board director sounds like a major role, but I, I just see it as doing my little bit to, to help the club hopefully win another premiership. I've been part of premierships as a as a player and ever since I've retired I wanna be I wanna experience one as a supporter as well. So hopefully I can do a little bit to help. My role will be football director, so basically the conduit between the football department, uh, Brad Scott and Jeff Walsh mainly. Um, back to the board. I totally understand the pressures that coaches come under. I'm big on putting myself in other people's shoes and Brad Scott and every coach have got a, a massive role. They've got 42 players they've got to communicate with. They've got to you know, set the game plan, set the rules, uh, prepare for every game, prepare for every training session. And then they've got their coaches, development coaches, so it's a, it's a major role. There was a lot of knockers after round one, but one thing that I, I, I try and not forget is how hard it is as a player. When we were in our premiership years, we experienced days like the boys did in round one. Uh, people don't really understand that when you're in the cauldron of Adelaide and they get a bit of a run on, the crowd gets behind them, their confidence goes through the roof and yours goes through the floor. Everything that you try um, you know, falls to pieces and that's what happened round one. When you think back to 2007 and we were in a lot of trouble um, I think a lot of people got mixed up a little bit with the money that was at offer. You know, people saying it's a hundred million dollars. Why wouldn't you take it? Why we didn't take it is because the day that we moved from here to the Gold Coast, North Melbourne didn't exist anymore. You can only judge the spirit of the club on the people that you've got here. And from what I can see, I reckon the um, the people are fantastic. I've got a pretty exciting job in one of the businesses, an event management business, and. Every year when I'm standing on a yacht in Monaco, I, I pinch myself and, and I look back and go, well, if it wasn't for the North Melbourne Football Club, I wouldn't be standing here.